So in this video, uh, I'm going to go over how to do the physics setup for the model, so I'll start setting up the loads and the boundary conditions. Um, before I start, I also do want to quickly mention that I did switch from using Apps on Demand to using the desktop Ansys uh, platform, which is works the same. Um, I did this because I forgot to download my WPZ file from temporary files. So yeah, don't be like me. Download your files so you can have them and use them later. Before I start doing this, I'm also going to go up to display and turn off thick shells and beams because right now we have our, our it shows the bodies and we can see that our tissue and our cartilage are slightly different thicknesses if we look closely. So I'm going to turn off thick shells and beams. It's just a plain cylinder now. Let me make our lives a little bit easier as we go. So uh, to first I'm going to start by adding the boundary conditions. So we have a fixed support on both ends. So I'll right click on static structural, click insert, fix support. And then I'll select both edges. Right, remember the edge is split into two pieces on both ends. So, control click on both, middle mouse control or middle mouse to spin it, then click on the t control click to select the edges on the other side. Click apply, and you'll see you got we got four edges. If you don't have four edges, uh, you probably didn't do it right. And so we'll also add the pressure load. We'll right click on static structural, insert uh, pressure. And we'll go in here, and we'll just make sure we select all of the internal faces, which is a little bit tedious, but it's not too bad. So find a way, find an orientation using that middle mouse, so you can find an orientation that works well for you. And then just go through and control click on all the faces. You can also set your uh, selection to faces only; that'll help make it a little easier for you. And so we'll select all the faces. You can also rotate, Let's, we can also rotate the model and get a slightly different view. So that'll make the last view a little bit easier. Oops, I selected one. Then go over to geometry and click apply. It'll say 20 faces. If you have 20 faces, that's right. If it's not 20 faces, you missed one or more. And finally, we have to add the magnitude of the pressure. So we want to, for now, we'll put in a pressure of uh, 100 pascals. So minus setting its default to megapascal. So that's minus one times 10 to the minus fourth. So I plug that in, and that's on. That's all the setup for the physics that we need to do.